and welcome to the continual build of the Falcon, a Ben Buckle vintage kit. And it's time to start prepping for building the wings. And I have the plans laid out here on the building board. It's at the maximum that the building board can actually handle. It's an eight foot wingspan in total. But fortunately, each wing panel is in two separate halves with the center section split down the middle half of that center section is on one wing and half is on the other the mechanism for joining these wings together relies on a tongue and box system for a central tongue and also for the spars and that's what i'm going to have a little bit closer look at today so illustrated in this part of the plan we can see the general idea of how the two wing sections meet together and it basically revolves around um, a, a tongue and box system so this is the center flat section of the wing there are two halves to this one for each wing one section has uh, a quarter inch thick plywood tongue inserted and then using these plywood parts the other wing panel will have a box that that tongue slides into and on this panel it's the opposite way around there's a, a spar made out of plywood that slots into a box here and at the rear, the same thing, this time with this spar. So there'll be two spars made out of plywood and one wing panel and one tongue on the other panel. So the first thing I'm going to do before I actually start the wing is to make this box up and make sure that it's a snug fit for this to slide into, rounding the edges so it's nice and neat because that will determine how snugly the wings come together and likewise when it comes to this section this panel this also needs to be a snug fit to slide into the front spar location and this one into the rear spar location let's have a look now at the ribs themselves themselves and see what you get in the kit so as you can see the ribs arrive neatly cut out and taped together in their matching pairs one for each wing they're a nice nicely done you can see that the section is a flat bottom with quite a wide cross section and the the slots for the upper spars and the lower spars have been milled out or cut out very straightforward other than there's no provision for the tongue that was described in the last little clip or for the spar slots and they'll have to be removed i think in reality that this front section will actually be a separate part because once the um additional spars added in here there's nothing to connect this front section to the middle section i'll show you it there you get the general idea i'll have to have a little think about that and make sure i think what i'm going to do is when it comes to the this plywood tongue location which goes about wrong one goes about there i think i'll actually mill that out and if that's the case, I'll show you how I'll go about that. The position for these, I don't think it will be a case of milling. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to double check that. But the, most of the work has been done in terms of the wing um, ribs. You will notice if you look closely at the plan, this is a rather nice feature. And it's something I hope will show through when the wings are covered. Because I think it looks so attractive. And that is the addition of diagonal bracing, top and bottom. Bottom ones and the top ones are shown here. Now it asks for these to be cut out after assembly and added. So that will involve carefully marking on 
and cutting each rib in turn. I may put the bottom ones in as the ribs are added. I think that's a, a, a possible solution and will make it more accurate, I think, to do it that way. But that's what you get. Big, hefty uh, ribs. Um, I'm sure they'll be up to the job. And once this front section is sheeted and the rear section is sheeted as well, it's going to be a very, very rigid wing, particularly with this diagonal bracing. And between the, the spars, it calls for 1 16th webbing or 2 mil webbing made out of balsa between each one. And that will produce a girder uh, structure, which is extremely rigid and strong and is um, very resistant to twisting. So that's where we're up to. The first thing I'm going to do is to make this little box up round the corners on the tongue and make sure that they're a, a, a nice snug sliding fit. Okay, let's get cracking. <laughs> 